Good morning children. Now we know what are whole numbers. So let us see property of whole numbers with relation to multiplication. First we will start with closure property and commutative property of multiplication. Let us multiply two whole numbers. 2 multiplied by 3 and it is equal to 6. So here 2 and 3 are whole numbers and the product is 6 which is a whole number. Let us take another example 4 multiplied by 2 which is equal to 8. Here again the product of two whole numbers is a whole number. What do we learn from this? That product of two whole numbers is always a whole number. So what we saw was when we multiply two whole numbers the product is always a whole number and this property of multiplication of whole numbers is called closure property of multiplication. Now let us count how many horses are here. One pair two pair, three pair and four pairs. So in total how many horses are here? Aman calculated it this way. Four groups and in each group two horses are here. So four multiplied by two. And this is Khushi. How did she do it? She said two horses in each group and there are four such groups. So she did 2 multiplied by 4. So they followed different order of multiplication but the answer was same. Let us see 4 multiplied by 2 is equal to 8 and 2 multiplied by 4 is equal to 8. So even if we change the order of multiplication the product is always same. What do we learn from this? That while multiplying the two whole numbers the order of multiplication does not alter the product and this property is called commutative property of multiplication. So according to commutative property of multiplication 3 multiplied by 4 is equal to 12 and if we change the order of multiplication then 4 multiplied by 3 is also equal to 12. So change the order but the product is unchanged. Now let us look at the special rule of 0. What is it? Multiply any number by 0 and what do we get? 3 multiplied by 0 is equal to 0. Now even if we take a bigger number and when 0 is multiplied to it the answer is again 0. So 0 multiplied by 95 is also equal to 0. So this is the special rule of 0 in multiplication. Any number multiplied by 0 becomes 0 which means the product is always 0 when we multiply the number by 0. So now you know what are the three properties related to multiplication of whole number. First we saw the product of two whole numbers is always a whole number. This was closure property of multiplication. For example 2 multiplied by 3 is equal to 6. Here 6 is a whole number. So product is always a whole number for the two whole numbers. The order of multiplication does not alter the product. 
this is called commutative property of multiplication and the example is 6 multiplied by 3 is equal to 3 multiplied by 6 which is equal to 18 so even if we change the order of multiplication the product is always the same lastly what did we see we saw when any number is multiplied by 0 the answer or the product is 0 for example 3 multiplied by 0 is equal to 0 so now we know three properties related to multiplication of whole number the other properties we will see in next class that's all for now bye bye children